So having a cataract in the eye is one of the most common eye diseases and sources of vision loss worldwide. There's a good chance that your eye doctor has asked you if cataracts runs in your family. But what exactly is a cataract? In this video, we're gonna explain cataracts, going over what causes them, what symptoms somebody may experience when they have them, and then ultimately what treatment options are there for a cataract. That's today's video, let's get into it. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes, vision, and finding the best vision products. Now today's video is all about cataracts and explaining cataracts simply, but this is part one of a complete series to help people learn about cataracts. So if you were recently diagnosed or maybe a family member has it, you can better understand what's going on as well as the next steps, such as treatment through cataract surgery, as well as extra tips just to help people better understand along that entire process. So first of all, what are cataracts within the eye? Now to better explain this, I have a little eye model here. That way I can show you what's happening. Now the front surface of the eyeball, that's called the cornea. But if I was to open up the eye and we could look inside, behind the iris, the colored part of the eye, there is in fact what is called a crystalline lens. Now this lens is usually clear and it helps focus light to the back of the eye to help you see. But for some reason, whether it be genetics, trauma, medication use, or other environmental factors, this lens starts to change. Little protein changes and oxidation cause this lens to go from crystal clear to start to become cloudy and eventually can become fully opaque. And that is in fact what we call a cataract. Something you may find interesting is that during an eye exam, your eye doctor can usually see the crystalline lens inside the eye. But if that lens starts to become cloudy, we can see it first turn kind of a subtle yellow color and eventually can become a full cloudy white milky appearance, which appears very similar to the white frothy look of water coming down from a waterfall, which is also called a cataract. In fact, that's where the name cataract of the eye comes from. Just kind of a cool tidbit I thought I'd mention. So now that we know what cataracts are, let's talk about the symptoms of cataracts. The symptoms that somebody may experience from a cataract can be a bit variable depending on how severe that cataract inside the eye is. Most people who develop a cataract develop it very slowly over time. So some people, especially if it's early or just a mild cataract developing, they may not have any symptoms at all. But usually the first symptoms that somebody will experience is that of vision changes. It could come just as a changing of somebody's glasses prescription, changing a whole bunch, you know, from just maybe one year to the next. Or some people may just end up having very blurred vision to the point where even with the best glasses or contact lens prescription, they still can't see very well, such as 2020, maybe they just can't see that. And that's because this cataract inside the eye is becoming opaque and they can no longer see through it. Another very common symptom of cataract is that of glare. And this usually is seen when someone's staring at bright light sources, especially if they're driving at nighttime. I know a lot of people will say that when they're driving at night, the headlights they just drive them crazy, they get a lot of glare, and they can't see very well. And that's often due to something like a cataract developing. That's because light going inside the eye hits the cataract and the light scatters in different directions. And as a consequence because of this, people with cataracts often have difficulty in dim light situations. Another interesting symptom of cataracts is that of color perception changes. This usually is not something that people come to the eye clinic knowing that they're having, but it's something that they often note after having treatment for cataracts, such as with cataract surgery and they have one cataract fixed, but still have the cataract in one eye, and they can kind of look back and forth and be like, wow, everything is white and sharp and clear in the eye I've been treated, but everything in the other eye seems, again, kind of cloudy, or things just seem kind of yellow or off-white. But again, color perception changes can be a symptom. Now let's talk a little bit about what causes cataracts. Now, there are many things that influence the development of cataracts, particularly genetics plays a role, and some studies show about 35 to 50% of all cataract development is related to genetics. Hence why doctors often ask if cataracts runs in your family. 
Now, some babies can be born with a cataract in the form of a congenital cataract, and cataracts can even form from things like trauma if you get hit in the eye really hard. But outside of these conditions, cataracts largely form due to different environmental factors. Risk factors include things like elevated blood sugars, smoking, alcohol consumption, medication use, especially some sort of corticosteroid, whether it's an oral medication or a topical form of eye drop. Uh, all of these different factors have been associated with elevated oxidation within the body and the development of cataracts. Now, a major part of the cataract development is that over the course of your lifetime, you're going to experience more of these environmental factors. And so over somebody's lifetime, we do see that just with age, people tend to develop cataracts. Enough so where a lot of people just getting into their 60s, 70s, and 80s, they are likely to develop some form of cataracts inside the eye. So again, cataracts are a very common eye disease just because almost everybody will get them as they get older. However, the big important thing about cataract development is not whether or not you're going to get it, but how severe it's going to be and if it affects your vision to the point where you need them treated. And that brings us to the treatment for cataracts. Now, the primary treatment for cataracts of the eye is cataract surgery, where a surgeon would remove the cataract that's developing inside the eye and then replace that cataract with an artificial lens. Now, what's really cool about cataract surgery is not only is it a very efficient and safe procedure, but it also is very similar to having a refractive procedure done at the same time, similar to having LASIK done. And what I mean is that during cataract surgery, not only does your surgeon remove the lens, but the implant that they're putting inside the eye can be calculated to help adjust and accommodate for your need for glasses. So if you happen to be somebody who's nearsighted or farsighted, and you don't want to be so dependent upon things like glasses anymore, in many cases, they can accommodate for that prescription when they do the surgery. When it comes to cataract surgery, there are different implants that surgeons will recommend for patients if they want to consider maybe less dependency on glasses. And there's a lot of options out there, and there's even price differences depending on those options. So I do plan to have videos going more in depth into those different lens options. So definitely keep a lookout for those. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you will get notified when those videos come out. Now, a good question that a lot of people ask is when do you need cataract surgery? I think from a practical standpoint, it's when somebody's vision is deteriorated by that cataract to a point where they're just not functioning well. So for many people, it's when their vision is not 20-20, and even with best glasses and contact lenses, they, they can't see 20-20, they can't really see very well, things are always blurry. At that point, many eye doctors will at least start discussing cataract surgery as an option. There are scenarios, however, where patients may still be able to see the chart and read 2020, but because of factors like glare and their quality of life is significantly decreased, at that point, if they have bad enough symptoms and your doctor can say confidently that yes, it's due to the cataract development, then you still may qualify for something like cataract surgery. Then there are of course a few medical scenarios where doctors will recommend cataract surgery earlier, such as in the scenario where a cataract may be increasing the risk for glaucoma development. At that point, doctors will sometimes recommend it. Otherwise, the decision to have cataract surgery is always on you or the patient because uh, no doctor is going to force you to have that procedure if you don't want it. But don't be surprised that if you do have a cataract that your doctor may recommend having cataract surgery earlier rather than later. Because we know that due to those different environmental factors and just over time, cataracts do progress and get worse. And for some people with really dense cataracts, your surgeon ends up having to use more energy during that procedure, and that may increase the chances of different risks for complications. And so I know a lot of doctors do recommend cataract surgery earlier rather than waiting later. But again, that's a question very specific for your eye doctor and where cataracts may be in your eyes. Which part of this video did you find most interesting or most helpful? And let us know if you've ever been diagnosed with cataracts and if you have any symptoms. Now again, treatment for cataracts and cataract surgery can be life changing. So the next few videos in this series are going to be discussing cataract surgery more, kind of answering questions about lens implants, as well as sharing tips on how to prepare for cataract surgery, both before as well as understanding what life's going to be like afterward. And again, I'll put a link to that next video of the series in the description right below that like button. Thanks so much for watching. Keep an eye on it. Ha. Keep an eye on it. And we'll see you in the next one.